Tonight, net neutrality on the ropes, the coming Windows x apocalypse, and will Apple make iPhones in Arizona? Tech News Tonight is next. This is Twit. This is Tech News Tonight, show number two for the 14th of January, 2014. This episode of Tech News Tonight is brought to you by iFixit. iFixit makes electronic repair kits easy with all the parts and tools you'll need, plus free repair guides. For $10 off your purchase of $50 or more, go to ifixit.com slash twit and enter the code TN2 at checkout. I'm Father Robert Ballas here. Let's get right to the tech feed. Net neutrality took a hit today. A federal appeals court threw out the FCC's open internet rule that required internet providers to treat all sources of online traffic equally. Now, internet broadband providers are free to charge companies to deliver their internet services faster. The FCC's open internet rules were passed in 2010. Verizon sued to block the rules, saying that the FCC didn't have the authority to impose them. And today, a U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia agreed. The problem is that the FCC itself doesn't classify internet providers in the same category as telcos. One fix would be to reclassify internet providers as telecoms. Another would be for the FCC to appeal the ruling to the U.S. Supreme Court. The register has revealed that thousands of systems at Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs Department and the National Health Service will not be migrated from Windows XP before Microsoft's April 8th end of extended support deadline, exposing themselves to exploits that may never be patched. Both the HMRC and the NHS have migration plans, but the HMRC admits their plan will not be complete until the end of 2014, while the NHS expects to finish sometime in the third quarter. The agencies could pay to have Microsoft support their XP installations, but with almost 90,000 machines between the two departments and a cost of $200 and up per year per machine, there is an understandable desire to complete the migration as soon as possible. Is Apple planning to make more iGadgets in the United States? The new Mac Pro is already built in Austin, Texas. Could the iPhone and iPod be next? Apple has posted openings for iPhone and iPod manufacturing design engineers for their Mesa, Arizona plant. The job makes it clear that they are looking for someone familiar with end-to-end -end manufacturing, including surface finishing, glass processing, and automation. Hiring is up at the Mesa facility, including a recent posting for a mechanical supplier quality engineer relating to the iPhone and iPad. Coming up, no matter how you shoot it, it will come out landscape and level. The new app that fixes your photos and videos for you. But next, Christopher Knoll is here to discuss the striking down of the FCC's net neutrality rules and how this could hit small businesses that depend on the Internet. This episode of Tech News Tonight is brought to you by iFixit, makers of the ProTech Toolkit. The ProTech Toolkit contains 70 tools that help you with almost any repair or project. It includes iFixit's 54-bit driver kit with standard specialty and security bits. It also includes ESD-safe precision tweezers, an anti-stat wrist wrap, an opening tool to get you inside any phone, notebook, tablet, or game console. Lightweight, compact, and durable, it's the gold standard for electronics work from garage hackers to the CIA and FBI. But more importantly, iFixit's unique tools are used by repair technicians everywhere. Backed by a one-year warranty, the ProTech Toolkit is only $64.95. With iFixit, you can fix it yourself. Visit iFixit.com slash twit for all the repair parts and tools that you'll ever need, plus free repair guides. Enter the code TN2 at checkout to save $10 off any purchase of $50 or more. That's iFixit.com slash twit and use the code TN2. Tonight, we take a deep dive into the appeals court decision on how the FCC net neutrality rules and how this affects small business, primarily online businesses. Joining us is Christopher Null. He's a technology journalist and the editor of the Intuit Small Business blog. Christopher, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, most of today's news has focused on how the U.S. appeals court invalidation of net neutrality rules will hurt end users. But not much has been said about how this could affect enterprise and SMBs that depend on the Internet to drive and support their business models. Now that net neutrality is dead, bearing action by the U.S. Supreme Court, what are the warning signs that SMBs should be looking for for Internet broadband providers taking advantage of this ruling? That is a great question. I, I think the 
right now, I'm putting small businesses in the same boat as consumers as for how this ruling is going to affect them. That's mainly because the telcos are not really interested in squeezing a few hundred dollars out of small businesses. They're going after the really the big guys, uh, the Googles and the Yahoos and the Netflixes of the world, uh, which are going to be paying millions and millions of dollars if they get their way for prioritized traffic. So unless your company relies on heavy bandwidth uh, or has high QoS needs, like it's delivering real-time communications or uh, video, uh, you're probably not going to see a lot of impact from this in the short term. Uh, and if you do, it'll be subtle. You know, maybe your customers who are on Verizon or Time Warner uh, will see some of the big competitors that you might deal with, like Amazon or eBay, loading slightly faster than your website. Uh, but I'm not sure that will immediately translate into sales uh, or lost sales. Um, and how would you would measure that or even really know about it uh, is, is going to be tricky. So right now, not too much to worry about, but uh, it's something to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, Christopher, the telcos have been wanting to stop the quote unquote free lunch of online companies for more than a decade what do you see as their priorities in a non-net neutral internet? I think another way of asking this question is, how will they use this ruling to increase their profit? Well, that's really what this has all been about. Uh, the telcos want more money for doing the work they really are already doing. But they're going to be going after some of the big guns. So Google, Yahoo, Netflix, Amazon, these guys are going to be basically shaken down to pay millions and millions of dollars for access to the fast lane that uh, the telcos are going to be building for them. Uh, but it's the big fish that have the money to pay it, and it's the big fish that will be paying it because that's where uh, this battle is going to be fought. Uh, if you're Amazon and the other guys, Barnes & Noble, uh, you better believe that it's going to be key to both of those companies to have the very best experience for the end user who comes to their, to their website. So it's going to be in their interest to pay, to pay up uh, to have access to those fast lanes of traffic. But it is a little bit difficult to, to envision a future where small businesses are asked to pay for that same privilege. Um, they just don't have the money to do it, and the telcos aren't going to have the sales force to go out there and try to shake down millions of small businesses to get a few hundred extra dollars from them for access to prioritized traffic. You know, that's a model that works for Yelp because that's where... Uh, that's where results are, are more tangible. That's kind of an advertising model. But you know, what's the value to a small business to get, say, a 10% increase in the speed of traffic delivered to just Comcast customers? You know, it's hard to quantify. And I think uh, in the end, uh, it's not going to be a big priority for the telcos to try to go after those users. Thanks, Christopher. And finally, the first rule of Smartphone Video Club is make sure the shot is horizontal or landscape mode, never vertical. The second rule is make it level, not tilted. But a new iOS app called Horizon takes care of the first two rules for you. Called Horizon, the 99-cent app shoots horizontal and level video no matter how you hold the camera. As a bonus, you can zoom in and out of your shots by simply tilting the phone. That's it for this edition of Tech News Tonight. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast at twit.tv slash tn2. Our next newscast is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific. I'm Father Robert Balasair. Good night. Bandwidth for Tech News Tonight is brought to you by Cashfly.com.